second grade mathematicians, or should I say almost third grade mathematicians. It's that time of year where we put all of our skills and strategies to the test. We're going to make sure we have these skills solidified so that when we enter third grade very soon, we are experts. What we're practicing today is fluency. And when you're fluent in something, it means you can do it well in a snap without really even having to think of it. It's automatic. We're gonna be practicing fluency with our addition facts, but we're gonna use a brand new tool. And that tool is in the form of a chart called an addition chart. An addition chart is a great way for you to find the sums of an addition problem. So by the end of today, you're gonna be able to confidently say, I can find sums on an addition table. This is an addition table, or also known as an addition chart. It is made up of rows and columns. Remember, rows go straight across and columns go up and down. I can use this to find the sum of an addition problem. For example, say I wanted to find the problem or figure out the answer to three plus four. I can use this chart to help me. First, I'm gonna examine my row. My row, I'm going to put my finger on the three because that's where I started, three plus four. Now I'm going to find the four in my column and I'm gonna slide my fingers to where they meet. Oh, where this row and this column meet is the number seven. So the answer to three plus four is seven. That is the sum. I could, I could do this with another problem. This time, let's try the problem six plus six, a good old doubles problem. First, I examine my row. Here's the six. Then I'm gonna examine my column. Here's my other six. I'm going to examine and move my finger to where they meet. Well, this six meets this six here. The sum of six plus six is 12. I can take this knowledge and even fill in a blank addition table. Let's go back and think about the problem three plus four. First, I start in my row and I'm going to circle my row here. That's the number three. Then I'm going to find my second add-in, which was the number four in the column. That's my four. Remember, where my row and my column meet would be the sum. The sum of three plus four is seven. So seven goes in the box there. Let's try it with a totally different one. This time, let's try five plus seven. So five is my row, seven is my column. I'm going to find where my row and my column meet. Here's the spot, and I think in my head, what is five plus seven? The answer to five plus seven is 12. And I would find the number 12 here. I can fill out this whole entire addition table if I really needed to. But I use my rows and columns to find my answer. Let's go back and look at the addition table that is complete one more time. Here's that completed addition table. It has again my rows and columns. You might notice a few things about the addition table. One, you might see patterns. There are patterns that go across. The numbers as they are moving across in rows are always counting up. You might even see a pattern going up and down. The numbers also are in a pattern and they follow each other. Zero, one, two, three, four, and here, six, seven, eight, and all the numbers follow each other. Now, that's great that we notice those patterns. 
However, it's important to know how to use the addition table too. It's one thing just to fill in a blank one with the numbers you know, but you gotta know how it actually works. So again, always examine your rows and always examine your columns and find where they meet to get your sum. So that's how you use an addition chart second grade mathematicians. It's a great way to practice your facts so that way you are fluent when you enter third grade next year. It's also a great tool that you can keep handy in your backpack if you ever get stuck. But remember, with practice and perseverance, you will be able to do those math facts in a snap.